Hi guys. So as you know, we need to find we need to know our identity in Christ is very vital, is very important, guys, and I just want to touch upon a few things that can help you within your walk. You know, sometimes we we are in a position to where we are stagnant, we may not know what to do. And it happens, guys, especially within the walk, and we begin to grow, we begin to learn more, we begin to just depend and trust on the Lord in the Lord, and things begin to change for the better. <clears throat> now, what I've noticed is, guys, while growing up, of course, as you know, the enemy, he knows how the mind works. He knows how to create different mindsets and keep us in a, um, in a period of remaining stagnant within our walks. And it's about renewing the mind. As the Bible says, we cannot be, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed through the renewal of your mind, guys. The mind has to be renewed. These mindsets, old mindsets, have, has to die off, guys. That is very important. That is very crucial. And we need to put on the mind of Christ. We have to come into the realization of our identity guys in Christ is deeply hidden in Christ Christ alone this world the things that come with this world our attachments to this world cannot define our real true identity that is the identity that the enemy wants you to have and you have to keep in mind Christ did not come down here and die to die for us just so the enemy can have any type of say so who we are in Christ guys you see Christ and you allow the enemy you allow Christ to tell you your identity in him guys and in order to get a better understanding of your identity in Christ it's important to just really take the time to sit down and evaluate yourself now. <clears throat> so ask yourself this, these questions, guys. Are you satisfied where you are now? Do you want better? If you are not satisfied where, where, where you are now, ask yourself why. Like literally sit down and tap into this, guys, and ask God to help you, to guide you, so you can get a better understanding of these things, guys, in order... You want to get a better understanding of who you are now as well as the things that have occurred in your past that has caused you to become the person that you are now, guys. It's very important that you get a, you come into the realization of that, getting a better understanding of that, writing some things down if you have to in case you forget, just talking to the Lord, allowing the Lord to bring up certain memories that has caused you to feel the way that you may feel currently, guys. For an example, let's just say you are a female and you desire a lot of male attention. Sit down and ask yourself, what has occurred in your life that's caused you to want that male attention? Go back to your childhood. Did something occur that caused you to really and truly desire that type of intention ask the lord to really just help you and guide you guys within that process so you can tap deeper and deeper into it so you can overcome that and heal guys sometimes we have a tendency to stay stagnant because we are still stuck in our past <clears throat> and we need to be healed but we can't be healed if we don't really take the time to sit down in prayer, talking with the lord and really and truly evaluating the things that go on with within our past guys you know, let's just say, for an example, you are a person who does not open up or you just don't trust a lot of people. Sit down and think, what has occurred in your past that has caused you to feel the way that you feel? Certain experiences, guys, like literally tapping deep into that and then taking everything back to the Lord, pouring your whole heart out to him and allowing him to feed, you know, to just basically speak to you guys renewing your mind reading the word you know following his lead guys so you can renew your mind because renewing the mind is a continual process guys you have to keep that in mind that don't that don't just happen overnight but if you are diligent and you have faith the lord will help you in overcoming it guys different ways of you know old mindsets dying off and the more you begin to renew your mind and believe what god is telling you in regards to who you are in him then you begin to become more bold and confident in who you are and you can firmly stand stand in that and stand convicted in that. So even when the enemy is trying to tell you who you are, you you know, you can tune that out because you know for 100% fact who you are in Christ, guys. It's a matter of just spending time with the Lord daily, guys, diligently seeking Him continuously and you begin to find out more of who you are. But it also starts off with letting go of the things in this world because followers of Christ... Um, Jesus, his kingdom is not of this world. We are not of this world either. And we are not called to get attached to this world, the things in this world, guys. Sometimes we make our emotions and past an idol, and we have to let that go. We cannot let these things in on this earth define who we are. Sometimes you need to sit in silence and just get in 
get in tune with the Lord and allow him to just speak to you guys pouring out your heart it's important to pour out your heart to him guys you know either you doing that in prayer or sometimes writing things down writing things down is also good so you won't forget the things that it is that you may have said previously guys so it really does help if you're concerned about maybe other people reading and try to get you a journal that comes with a lock and key you know just different things to get you started it starts off by not running guys we cannot afford to run in this wall you know part of a mindset that needs to die off is being a child sometimes we are afraid to grow up in christ just because you have a house a car a job a good career whatever you want to title it as guys does not necessarily mean that you are grown those are material things those material things do not define you in christ guys there are people in their 30s 40s and 50s who have those things and they're still have that childlike mindset and it's about putting that childlike mindset away and keeping it away don't bring not allowing it to resurface guys you have to remember we are new creatures in Christ when we die guys when we die to self we become new in him the things in the past do not define us and it's a, it's about learning to let that go and that comes with renewing the mind and that takes time guys but we have to do our parts in being diligent guys and being consistent about it just staying focused in christ and doing the things that he wants us to do he begins to tell us and inform us about things we get a better understanding a better sense of who we are who, uh, and not allowing things to define us guys not the things of this world because we are not from this world guys so just take the time to just sit down and talk with the lord about things learning more about your past you know if you need a little help or guidance with that course just talk with the lord and allow him to lead and he will help you the holy spirit will help you bring things to your remembrance things that you may need to sit down and work out if it's something that you may have trouble overcoming you could be a person who struggles with anger bitterness guys unforgiveness actually sitting down and just tapping deep into that guy so take the please just take the time to do it we have to overcome our past and sometimes we get attached to our past staying in the past wanting to live in the past wishing that we did things different wishing that we could have had this it's not about what we want when you think about it because when we belong to christ it's about what he wants and we have to have that faith and trust that he is going to he's going to bless us guys that he's going to give us the things that we need not what we want but what we need it's not about our desires and the more we stay in christ our personal desires begin to die off we begin to desire the things that he desires because we are becoming one with him, guys. So it's a continual process. So just keep that in mind because the enemy gets a lot of people caught up with in the past. Their mindsets, guys, the things that they are going through, people clinging to what they've been observing based upon the things that they've grown up around or in and they label that their reality but sometimes your reality may not necessarily be God's truth it's about God's truth what God want guys not what you want so please keep that in mind just take this message to heart guys and thank you for watching have a blessed one